Hey guys, welcome back to the Rob Lowe Show. I'm Rob Lowe. So, as you can see in the caption, the wheels are gone. Last week I sold the wheels. So now that I have the cash from the wheels, I'm going to probably take the truck maybe next weekend uh, to get test fitted so that they can narrow the rear end on the truck. I'm also going to be taking out the bed liner on the truck because they are going to cut out the factory tubs so that the 26 by 10s can clear once the wheels are on the truck. But right now I just have some spares on the back and I have the billets on the front. I also ordered some new lug nuts for the truck. They came in last week. I already put some on obviously because I had to put the front wheels on but I ordered these. They're spline lug nuts so it's kind of like a lock. I don't know how anti-theft they are but they look pretty cool and I think they looked a little better than the spike lug nuts. But like I said today I'm just going to prep the truck to take it next week to get the rear end uh, measured and get the new wheels on and I'm going to take out the bed liner and get that posted up for sale so I can get a little cash from that and I'm going to pull out the tools and get started on the truck. So when I bought the truck the truck already had the bed liner in it and it's one of these plastic removable bed liners. I'm kind of glad it had this because now that I'm cutting the rear end and going to retub the bed I can put in an actual rhino bed liner and not this plastic liner that it has. Well, I got all the screws out of the bed liner now, so I'm gonna try to pull out the bed liner. I think that was all the screws that it had. And this is gonna be the first time that I've ever seen the actual bed under the bed liner. Uh, like I said, it came with the bed liner, so I've never seen what condition the bed was actually in. Well, that turned out to be a little easier than I thought. And the bed looks to be in really good condition. It's a little dirty, so some leaves and pollen and dust that's been in there since. And I bought the truck in 2014. So not bad for five years. Well, now that I got the bed liner off, I'm gonna go ahead and get the bed cleaned up, get all these leaves and dirt out of there. heavy dirt and leaves out of it 
as you can see there's no major dents or scratches in the bed but it's a lot of dust and dirt this might be overkill but i'm gonna go ahead and wash out the bed give the guys a clean surface when they start cutting out the wheel tubs Got the bed all cleaned up now. Pulled it out into the sun so y'all can see how it looks. It's in pretty good condition. I mean, it's not perfect, but better than I thought it'd be. And before I forget, this is a look at how the new lug nuts look on the wheels compared to the spike lug nuts. I know some people like the old replicas, but they're gone now, so some people love it, some people hate it. I love it, how it looks with the billet wheel, so that's the option I'm going with. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, next week I'll be taking the truck to the shop and they are going to put the new wheels on the back and measure it so they can find out the length they need to cut it to narrow the rear end and that'll be next week and then they said it's gonna take two weeks to get the axles back from Mauser or Moser I don't know how to pronounce it and once they're back I'll take the truck again and they said it's gonna take about two days to do the work cut out the tubs and put the new wheels on so stay tuned for that hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next week